anxiety. Hopefully none of you have experienced it, but if you have, they know exactly how overwhelming it could be. Hi everyone, today's topic is a little bit out of nowhere. I was not planning on making a video tonight, but I knew that I had to. Anxiety was actually one of the main reasons why I tried to commit suicide, because depression I can handle, but anxiety it just feels like I have to react on impulse. An example of what anxiety can do to me is I remember sitting in this very corner, just crying, cutting myself, slamming my head against the wall. I even threw my guitar across the room. I tried to break it and cut off strings. I wanted to not only hurt myself, but hurt any chance I had of getting any better. Talking is how I handle myself during an anxiety attack because I need to talk to something or someone to keep it from bottling it all up and just getting so much worse. There's people that pass out, there's people that go to the hospital, there's people that self-harm when they're going through an anxiety attack. So many of us have so many different coping mechanisms, but none of them work. It has to do with yourself. You have to learn how to cope with it in a healthy way. No one's gonna take it away for you. It honestly, it honestly gets to the point where you just start, you start expecting these attacks and you never truly get used to them, but you start more and more understanding. You start to learn and you start to just realize what it takes to get through one of these. Loneliness is also something that a lot of people with anxiety deal with because no one knows what it's like to have an anxiety attack. Everyone thinks it's in your head or no one thinks it's as bad as it actually is. One thing that really frustrates me is when people say that they know what anxiety is like, but if you weren't freaking out or you weren't having a hard time breathing, then you don't know what it's like. Unlike depression, it's not something mental. It's not something you can control. It's not a state of mind. It's so much more than that. It's a physical feeling that no matter what you do, you can't get rid of. And you can't even go to anyone for help because they're gonna assume you're crazy or it's all in your head, or they're not gonna understand you. You're basically alone, and that makes you even more stressed out and more worried, and you just feel, all together, you just feel worse. I'll admit that I still don't really know how to cope with this feeling. There's plenty of times where I just feel like ending it is the best solution, but at the same time, I've learned from my mistakes, and I know that's not the right thing to do. It's really not the right thing to do, but there's it just gets to a certain point where you have no other option. You've exhausted every other resource you have, and you just, you start thinking irrationally, and you don't know what you're doing, and that's what, it's, that's what it gets to sometimes. And it's not just out of stupidity or ignorance. It honestly just gets like that and you don't know what else to do. That's the only option you have. Quick little story time about one of the times that I just could not handle it anymore. I remember standing on the chair about to hang myself with a belt until one of my friends called my house and my parents walked in on me and I remember locking myself in a room and when I finally did come out, I was pacing around in circles while everyone was asking me what's wrong, what's wrong and none of them knew how bad it actually felt. So I remember going to the kitchen and just grabbing a bunch of pills and taking them all. I remember getting tackled to the ground while the ambulance came. And when I got to the hospital, they had me hooked up to an IV and they made me drink charcoal to protect my organs. And I remember sitting there just asking myself, how did things get so bad? How did things end up like this? Even when I went to the mental hospital and I was sitting there staring at my cuts, staring at my freaking of all the injuries that I had because of that one anxiety attack, it gets to the point where you can't control yourself. You'll do anything to numb it. You'll do anything to get rid of it, even if it's dumb, even if it's life-threatening. I would much rather be dead than go through an anxiety attack. And I'm not over-exaggerating. I'm not trying to be edgy or emo. It honestly gets to that point and people don't understand. More people need to be educated so we don't just, we don't just play it off like it's nothing because it honestly is so much worse than we actually, than we actually know. Medication is also a really bad way of coping with anxiety because you're basically leaving it all up to the pills. You never truly know 
how to handle it and you'll never learn. It's basically like giving up your free will and just leaving it all up to the pills and that's when you start to depend on them and they're your coping mechanism and you truly never learn to do it yourself. The reason why I'm talking about this now is because I'm going through an anxiety attack at this very moment and this is my way of coping with it i don't have anyone to talk to right now and you guys are the only ones that are here for me and i just wanted to capture it on film just to like so like have it so i can see what i'm like so i can see what i can do differently in terms of coping with this feeling venting was the whole purpose of this video i didn't have a script this video was not planned i just kind of made this video so i can capture myself and see what i'm like but that's basically it I hope you guys learned something about me. I don't know. Just thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.